Hi, my fellow TIs. Look what I got. Starbucks. So close to the last time I had Starbucks. But, you know, I can't afford that. Um, you know, like I said, you know, God not only blesses us with what we need, you know, and he knows more of what we need than we do. He blesses us through other people, you know, too. And blesses us in many forms, even sometimes um, things that you didn't know you needed or words you didn't know you needed to hear. You get me? But, um, you know, I was cooking something and stuff and uh, Jessica from up the street, my friend, you know, she called and asked me, did I want to go with her to a trip to Vaughn's? And look at, she got me Starbucks, you know, and she also gave me some money, you know, um, you know, as you know, I don't do drugs, I don't, you know, <laughs> my cat, and internet when I have it, and cigarettes, you know, are the only, mm, are the only, like, well, nicotine is the only real habit I have, you know. Coffee is not a necessary necessity, you know, in my life. Um, I've been smoking since I was a kid, you know. Uh, give or take an institution that I couldn't sneak cigarettes in as a kid, you know. And I got out of the adult system before the no smoking went into effect. In fact, guy, I'm so old that, hold on. I think I got one right here. I sent a picture of this to Shorty and Wino um, earlier and said, do you remember the those from the vending machines in the county jail and they said yeah <laughs> that's how old I am you used to be able to well there was change machines in the county jail that gave you quarters you could carry money and they had snack vending machines that's how freaking old I am yeah and you could still smoke but um yeah, so I'm going to put 20 towards my phone, and I'm going to buy cigarettes, you know, necessity, and then a non-necessity, a pleasure, you know, but, um, you know, I went shopping, which bonds is expensive, so what I wanted from there, I forgot to get but bonds is expensive but sometimes you know as you know I get food stamps sometimes it's you know good to treat yourself to certain foods even though a lot of foods I can't eat now you know you know it's the end of my journey and all this targeting and the radiation and the do's and microwave and bullshit that I used to get hit with has taken effect. You know, the zaps, the burns. Now they've turned into um, <laughs> really extreme nerve damage. And no matter what the doctor says it's from, I know exactly when it started and what it's from. You get me? Years later. But, um... Yeah. And then, um, Miss Cheers. 
I didn't ask her to or expect her to, but she went and picked up my medications for me. You know, she just called us. Said, I'm, she said, I'm at the pharmacy picking up your medications. You know, I got a message. So, um, you know, another blessing. You know, and, you know, I don't know, but, you know, I might be nine months or so, you know, behind on my rent, but, and I haven't got the COVID rental assistance yet, you know, but God willing, so keep me in your prayers. And, um, God is good, you know, as long as I, you know, Wino blesses me with money sometimes on the cash card, you know, Nacho, uh, Shorty, um, you know, when they can afford it, you know. Every so often, and they help me. You know, uh, Miss Cheers helps me. Jessica helps me. You know, in different ways. You know, whether it's by making me laugh, by calling and checking on me. You know, by helping me with something that has to do with my. <laughs> my mess of a life. No, my life is not a mess. It is because of this targeting program. You know, if it wasn't for that, you know, I'd be healthy. I wouldn't be weak. I wouldn't be puny. You know, I wouldn't be in pain all the time. But, as I've said it so many times before, and I'm going to say it again, <laughs> they couldn't take my mind. And they couldn't take who I was, who I've grown to be. So they targeted the most vulnerable, which is my body and my health. And I'll repeat myself as many times as it takes. You know, who knows how long this end of the journey will last till it completely stops. But I am at the end of my journey. And I fear no man. You know, do I cry sometimes because of the pain? Or cry period? Do I get angry? Yeah, I do. Does it linger? And go on. No. Once you get past that. The crazy stage. You know. The first stages. The angry stage. You know. And you process everything. And learn. That you're not alone. And if you're a believer, if you're a believer, you're okay. Because you know where you're going. You know, when my journey ends completely, I know where I'm going. But in the meantime, you know, I might feel alone sometimes, but I'm not. You know, I know I have Ya, and I have my little furry buddy, but be it people near or far, and, and I'm not, I didn't get the vax, and I'm not planning on getting the vax. 
So some people choose not to be around me because they're vaccinated. And most everybody I know is vaccinated. But, um, you know, just like, you know, I expect people to respect my choices. I respect other people's choices. You know? Yeah, practically everybody I know is vaccinated. But some of those people that are vaccinated choose not to be around me. In fact, you know, I was the best man at my best friend's wedding not too long ago. You know, I made a short, short clip of it. You know, that's the, that's my picture of me in the suit. You know, that's why I'm wearing the suit. And, um, you know, out of everybody, you know, uh, friends and family and stuff, I was the only person that wasn't vaccinated. But I don't go around people. And, my God, the Most High, the only God, creator of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen, you know, you know, with all this that I've suffered through, in this program, this just targeting gang stalking program, and as many times as I've died, you know, and I've died a lot of times, you know, including, you know, overdosing on heroin. Seven separate times. <laughs> and them having to, what do you call it, with the paddles and crap? Well, I didn't find the plastic things so I got home. But back in those days, back in those days, yeah, I am old. But back in those days, um, uh, you know, my body would feel like it's on fire. And the first time I asked him, why am I on fire? Why am I burning? And the EMT would tell me, oh, it's because we shot you full of this and that. And what it is, is it's burning because it's taking all the drugs out of your body. You know, I think probably they have something easier and probably less painful nowadays. <laughs> but who knows? But um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I've died many, many times, you know, and the last time, you know, uh, was when that Suburban hit me. I flew 20 feet in the air, and it ended up on top of me, which squished my spine, and I had to rehabilitate myself, but I was in life support, you know, and there's been many other times before that. So, you know, I don't think that that God is going to take my life through coronavirus. You get what I'm saying? And if I happen to get some kind of virus or flu or whatever, you know, because my immune system is obviously shit because of, you know, uh, what I now have to go through and you know what I now medically am screwed up by which started with the different ways of targeting you know but yeah I don't think with all the stuff that I've been through and as many times as I've been brought back to this earth you know comas and life support and crapola. I don't think I don't think some something like this or something like that. I don't think God wants me to die that way. Cuz this is the first time I've been slow killed is through my targeting program. And if it be God's will anyways, so be it. 
like I said, I know where I'm going. You know. And I fear no man. But, Lord God, please ease the pain. And I never script what I'm going to say, so sometimes I talk around circles. But I know where it's at here. You get what I'm saying? I know what I'm trying to say. So, hopefully sometimes it comes out this way. You know, the way it's supposed to. But not always. Peace, love. And laughter. Blessings.